Hi, I'm Iti. I'm a fourth year PhD student in National University of Singapore. Today, I will present some results in a project long shot preference in the field. This is a co work with professors Miao Bing and Zhong Zhong Fao. Long shots are lotteries with small probability of winning sizable payoffs. Lotto games at Chase uh, race trade betting are common examples of long shots. Uh, many lab experiments find out that individuals have preference for long shots. For example, some researchers found that individuals are risk seeking and there's more probability of winning, while other studies point out that attitudes towards long shots actually also depend on the winning odds and the expected value. On the other hand, in the field, long shot preference is an effective word and it is widely used to motivate behavioral such as public good provision, regulation compliance, and health behavioral. We observed that there is a gap between lab, lab observations and field application. Lab experiments already try to involve variation in long shots and to investigate how people's attitudes change with the long shots while uh, field applications usually involve long shots in a binary setting and simply compare the cases with and without long shot as incentives. So in this experiment, we want to involve variation in long shots in our field experiment. And we want to answer such a question that which long shot performs better in motivating behavioral in the field? In this way, we can test the robustness of the rotary, uh, or rotary observation and the field condition, which are usually suffer from limited information and attention. And secondly, we try to improve the efficiency of lottery incentives in the field. Our experiment aiming at motivating subjects to participate in experiencing an online chatbot our subjects consisting of over 60,000 uh, staff and students in NUS. And this project is collaborate with NUS IT Care, who want to promote some of their online products. We randomly divide subjects into six groups and we vary the lottery as incentive with group. Firstly, subjects will receive an invitation email as shown in the left hand side. And this email will have the information on the lottery incentive, which is blocked uh, here in the red color. And then for those who, who are interested in participating, they can click the link and then try, finish the three minute games under the guidance of the chatbot. Um, our, we, we have six groups and the first four groups receive the um, lottery that has only one price of 50 Singapore dollar shopping voucher. In the first group, to implement the lottery, we use a complex but familiar source of uncertainty. More specifically speaking, the lottery is decided uh, based on subject's phone number and the Singapore Straight Time Index. And in the second group, we use a complex and unfamiliar source as the stock index here are changed to be the Hakka Stock Exchange Board. In the third group, we use a simple source of so, a simple source of uncertainty, and we simply tell the subject that we will randomly select one winner out of every 100 participants. The fourth group doesn't specify the winning probability, and they, subjects only know that they will have a chance to win this shopping voucher. In the fifth group and the uh, sixth group, the expected value and the source of uncertainty are the same as the first group. However, in the fifth group, we use the winning probability 0.1%, and in the sixth group, we include two prices. As the result show here, um, the lottery that we using the simple source uncertainty and the lottery that do not specify the winning probability performs better in, uh, in improving participation. This table uh, shows the pairwise comparison between uh, uh, within each group, and the, the number in gray color indicates that these groups are not comparable. We have two observations in this table. Firstly, the um, sources of the simple source of uncertainty motivates participation better compared to complex sources. And secondly, 
increase the number of crises can improve the um, uh, participation. Thank you.